16 is our time right now. Getting kids involved with dinner, we know it can be a challenge. So in today's Try It With Test, we're making an easy, customizable meal that even the kids <laughs> will want to help with. And since most of the kids are in school right now, we have our big kid, Scotty, here to help. I flunked out of school, so I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Nadia from Crest Pizzeria is here to show us how to make a calzone at home. Thanks for being here. Yeah, thank you. For you. Us. you guys make great calzones there. So if you're giving us the tips, and we know they're going to be delicious thank at you, home. Thank you, thank you. Yes, actually, we make everything great. <laughs> and we are Scratch Kitchen from start to finish. And you made all this from scratch this morning, so we, we appreciate did. that. So how do you make a calzone? What do you start with? You need the good dough, right? All right, so you both have dough in front of you. We're going to have a little contest. Oh, Let's okay. Let's see if you can make it fast. We're very fast. competitive. Right. Okay, so we have our ricotta cheese. We'll okay. start with our ricotta cheese. That's the yeah. base. Yep. Okay. Do we just do we do the and whole thing or half? No, of I it? do. I normally do right in the middle. Yeah. We're gonna fold it over. Oh, that's what. I, that's why I was asking that. Okay. Is that enough? As much as you want, I yeah, guess. As much as you like. Okay. Okay, and then you're gonna start with your vegetables, the and you can is... put anything. Honestly, you can even clean out your refrigerator. Oh, I like that idea. Get all the leftover vegetables that are just going to go in the trash. You can do cheese. So I made a cheese calzone, and then we made a meat calzone. Wow. So it's basically oh, whatever you like. I just figured it'd be healthier to make a vegetable I'll one. See, I, I would do the cheese, and I'd throw some uh, ground beef on there, and I'd be golden. Ooh, <laughs> that would work, too. Okay, okay. remember, you got to close it. Oh, okay. That's enough. <laughs> so you okay. put it in the middle, not on the half, like a quesadilla? Yeah. Is that sort so, of what I was thinking? So this is what we're going to do, because we're going to... Okay. We're gonna fold it over. Fold it over. Okay. All the way? All the way. Okay. Quickly. Okay. Just wrap it over. How do you get the Perfect. ends to say? I'll show you right now. Okay. Okay. So you're good. Oh, great job. Very Ooh, nice. Thank you. It wasn't that right. Come on. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do, this is my little trick okay. that I like to do. I just oh, like Oh, that's how you make it all cute. Yeah. And then that seals it all in. It just seals it all in. <laughs> that is fantastic. And then just to clean it up, I like to trim a little bit just to give it a little bit of cleanliness. Oh, now you're really fancy. Okay. Well, the kids always love using the pizza cutter, so. And then you can have them, once you cut the dough, uh -huh. then the kids can play with that dough. Oh, perfect. Oh, my gosh. Brilliant. Right? And really, any age can work we'll with this, so that I here. love that idea. Perfect. How long are we baking this for? We are baking it. About 35 minutes. Okay. 350 degrees. Gosh, All that right. was so, so easy. You're, you're I love it. Ready to go here. Normally, what I do is, if I had a knife, I would just slit it here so it could breathe. Okay. You could just tear it a little bit. See how the little cuts are? Oh, I yeah. See that. yeah. Okay. These are the finished ones that you these guys are make the a crust. Ones. Yeah. And the good thing is you can make these small or large, however, however it fits. you like. Honestly, yeah. however you like. So Nadia, obviously we don't have this great crust at home. What what do you suggest for people at home? Honestly, as far as we the, sell our crust. You do. I our, did not there know you that. go. That's yes, perfect. We do at our, our crust um, simply Italian. We sell our sauce, cheese, oh, perfect. meatballs. How so, did I not know this? We go to the one in the Chandler, and we love that restaurant. So, right when you okay. walk in at the door. Okay. So you don't, you don't want to put any sauce on the inside? You so just dip it on the outside? You can do whatever you want. You can do you whatever, can do whatever you, you want, <laughs> honestly. Okay. All right. And that's and then, how you guys have it served up here, yes. right? And Side then of once sauce. it's baked, we glaze it with our garlic um, oil, Parmesan cheese, ah. and a little bit of parsley ah. served with our marinara sauce. Gosh, well, what do you think, Scott? I think I can do this at home. For sure. Love it. And you guys, of course, are known for all sorts of delicious food. You brought some some of your favorites here. Yes, our Mediterranean salad is one of our most popular salad. It's got a farro with a mixed green. Um, then we have our spinach artichoke dip wow. with our dough. That's our dough. Just talk about those cookies. Yeah. I've been eyeballing those. Those are made fresh like every five day. Right. Are they really? Well, can, we, yes. can we eat this calzone? What yeah. can we try? Yeah, let's try anything. We have our, our uh, garlic knots with our marinara, and then we have our burrata. I'm going to use this thing real anything quick to cut like. it open here. Which one is this? This is a meat calzone here. Actually, that's a cheese calzone. Okay. And the meat, they change it around me. It's all right. The sauce, oh. by the way, is so good. It's good. still warm. Oh, it's so yummy. Good. It's still warm. Look at that. Ah, okay. They're giving us a wrap here. You talk, I'll eat. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to say after that. It is no. amazing. Mm. Nadia, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Those cookies, though. We got to take one of those cookies. <laughs> yeah. Thank right. you so Keep much.